Hey guys, welcome. I am Ty. Today we are going to be going over homemade beef jerky. I have two different cuts. I have a right here. I'll show you here. One is a round and then the other one is a roast cut. Uh, this is from a cow that we had butchered last year, but it comes tenderized already. As you can see, tenderized. So what I like to do is get as much of the fat off as I can. And if I had a grinder, I could use that little piece for going back and making me some more hamburger, but I don't have a grinder, so we're gonna do it this way. So what I do on my beef jerky is, like I said, I use mostly actual steak for mine. Um, I like to do small strips, just like that. Some of these I will cut into half. Pieces like that. I'll go back and thin out just a little bit. Actually, we'll just cut the top off of that one, and we'll use that piece, just like that. So, basically, this is all I'm going to do with this. And then when we get ready to do the seasoning, I'll bring you back in. Now we're going to move on to the roast shoulder steak. This has two different slides in it. So what you can do, I got the camera on the wrong side. Slice that here. Follow the line. Just like that. Voila. Beautiful steak. Well, now that we're finished with that, it's time for the spices and the bag. Spices right here. This is homemade spice. I'm not gonna tell you what's in it, but it's delicious. Alrighty then. So I'm just using Heinz Worcestershire. I know people say that different, but it's all gonna go into one bag. So, load this up. I'm going to add the W sauce, which I'm just going to take the lid off and just dump her in. I like to get a good coating on it. And then, I'm going to add in my spices, which half is where it should be for the poundage that I used.
get a good coat. Now, as you can see, most of that Worcestershire sauce went into the spice onto the meat, which I don't know if I can get it to show on this camera. A little bit. But I think I might add just a little bit more spices to it, the seasoning. And a dab do you more of the W sauce. Spin it and then let her sit for. I usually let mine sit for about two. I usually let mine sit for about two hours in the fridge, just to suck in all the. Just to let it marinate. Now let some of the air out. Closer shake. So, there's that. It's going to go in the fridge, and I'll bring it back in when we get ready to put it in the dehydrator. All right, guys, welcome back. I am not going to bore you to show you how I'm going to put it on the dehydrator. What I will do is show you how it turned out, though. So, this is how it turned out. Looks really good. If there was a smell of vision, it'd be even better. But there's not. But that's how it turned out. And after everything is said and done, when everything is finished, I will bring you guys back, show you how everything, how it turned out, and maybe have a little bourbon and beef jerky. We'll see. Only if it was really that easy. On to the... We go.